what is up welcome to my channel so I hope you are happy because today I am going to be doing another video in my Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona series so today's tutorial is going to be using the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership One original subliminal palette so this is the Mothership One this was one of the first three palettes that came out three of them came out at once so this is Mothership One this is honestly one of my favorites in the family because you can do really cool funky smoky looks or you can actually do a really natural everyday work look so I think one day down the road I will do the work look for you guys you know I couldn't help myself and I had to go with the glitters oh my gosh this is so dramatic smoky I love it so if you would like to see how I got this look then let's just get straight into the tutorial we are going to be starting off using this very light beige shade and I'm going to use a really fluffy blending brush this is the ESM 34 I'm just gonna blend that all over my crease Next, we are going into this dark chocolate color, which honestly almost looks charcoal once you blend it out. And that's going to start off on the outer corner of our eye. We are going to go all in with the black now. I'm using the ESM S33, and I'm going to start packing that in the outer corner of my eyelid just to create that smoky effect and I'm lightly blending the edges out. Going back to this color, I'm using a brush that isn't too dense to lightly pack on this color as our base color. Time for the magic trick. I'm taking the Isom Pro Mixing Medium, slightly dampening my brush and applying this color all over the eyelid to really make it very glittery and just vibrant. I then am also taking my finger to pack on an extra layer just to add some extra oomph. Next, I'm taking the NYX Hydro Touch Primer. This is one of my favorite moisturizing primers, and I'm just applying that as my base. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Oil Free Matte Foundation, and that is what I'm using with a Flower Beauty foundation brush to blend it in today. This creates a nice matte finish while not being too heavy coverage. It's just a medium coverage, I would say. Today I'm using the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer and that's just what I'm going to use to brighten up my under eyes and cover up those dark circles. I'm taking the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Loose Setting Powder and I'm going to use that to loosely set my face just very lightly. I haven't been too into setting my face lately, especially since this is a matte foundation. Using good old Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I am going to use that to warm up my face on a big Morphe R2 brush. Just blending that all over, no really real direction, just warming everything up. Thank you. 
using this absolutely gorgeous sigma beauty blush cheek palette i am going to use the more mauvey shade and i'm going to apply that straight to the apples of my cheeks Back to the eye palette, I am going into the black straight for it, and I'm just going to blend that lightly across my lower lash line. Going into this metallic navy shade, I am going to use a really stiff blue brush and apply that just to the inner half of my lower lash line. I'm going all the way into that inner corner as well as you can see. I'm taking this bottom right color which is a pretty sheer white glitter shade with like blue and yellow reflex and that's going to be my inner corner color. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette, the holographic highlighter. I'm taking this icy blue shade and I'm using that as my highlighter today. It looks really gorgeous with this look. I'm taking the best mascara in the world, the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara and just applying that before false lashes. By the way, I went ahead and applied Lily Lashes in Miami after this off camera, so we're going straight to lips. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Perfect Lip Comma, which is Morphe Inversion and Maybelline and Baddest Beige for my lips today. It just creates a perfect cool pink nude for this look that just looks beautiful. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you decide to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.